let us try to solve this question it says that how much percent more than the cost price should a manufacturer mark his goods so that even after allowing a discount of 25% on the mark price he gains 20% so this shopkeeper is very clever even after giving a discount of 25% he is actually gaining 20% so we need to find how much percent more than the cost price should he mark his goods at so let's see let us say that the cost price is 100 rupees so cp is 100 rupees we know that the gain which he wants is 20% he is gaining 20% now the gain is always considered on the cost price so the gain is 20% so gain would be 20% of the cost price which is 20% of 100 which gives me 20 so the gain is 20 rupees we know the cost price we know the gain we can find the selling price selling price would be the cost price plus gain cost price we know is 100 gain we know is 20 so the selling price is 120 we can find this now let's look at the discount we know the selling price is 120 now let's look at the discount he is giving a discount of 25%. So discount is 25%. Now discount is always given on the marked price. We do not know the marked price. So let's assume that the marked price is X. So let the marked price be rupees X. So if marked price is X, then discount is 25% of the marked price which is of x this turns out to be x by 4 so this is the discount which is 25 percent of x which is equal to 25 by 100 times x and this is equal to x by 4 so this is the discount now when you know the discount you know the marked price also we can find the selling price with marked price and discount I can find the selling price so selling price is nothing but marked price minus discount now marked price in my case is X and discount is X by 4 so substituting these values I get X minus X by 4 now taking the LCM as 4 this would be 4x minus x upon 4 which is equal to 3x by 4 so I get the selling price as 3x by 4 now earlier I had seen that the selling price was 120 rupees now the selling price turns out to be 3x by 4 so selling price earlier was 120 rupees now the selling price is 3x by 4 so both these should be the same because that is the selling price so what I can say is therefore 3x by 4 should be equal to 120 this is what I can say from here I can find the value of 3x which would be 120 times 4 and from here I can find the value of x which would be 120 times 4 by 3 which gives x as 160 so I get x as 160 now what was this x the marked price we had assumed as x so mark price was x hence mark price now is rupees 160 which is x so mark price is 160 cost price we had assumed was 100 so what we can see is that when the cost price is 100 marked price is 160 so how much more did he mark his price from the CP he had bought it for 100 rupees but the marked price was 160 that is the difference of these two is 60 rupees 
so we can say that he has marked up by 60 for every 100 so he has marked up the good for every 100 he is marked up by 60 more marked price is 60 more than the cost price so for 100 cp the marked price is 60 more or i can say this is 60 of 100 of the cp so this is 60 percent more so this is for every 100 he would mark it 60 more so for every 100 it is 60 more or i can say 60 per 100 or this is 60 percent so the manufacturer should mark 60 percent more than the cp such that even after giving a discount of 25 percent he gains 20 percent 